Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Stav, in case you're brand new here, and this is my channel, She Equips Herself. If you've seen some of my videos, you know that I'm very much into showing you guys how to carry in different types of holsters, and I have tons of videos showing a bunch of different holsters that I have, but I was recently asked to do a video on my favorite and most used holsters, so today I'm gonna share with you my top five favorite most used holsters. getting into concealed carry I was overwhelmed by the amount of options there were out there which is kind of a blessing especially if you're a woman who's just getting into concealed carry and you're not sure how to do it because our bodies are different our styles and lifestyles are different so it's nice to have a lot of options but it can also be really overwhelming if you don't know where to start so I have been carrying now for about six years and over that time I've accumulated a large number of holsters tried a bunch of different things and so I do have my favorites so I'm not saying these are gonna be your favorites but I do want to share them with you so that you guys know what I use most often and I definitely reach for these five things more than the others and use them a lot so with these top five I'm gonna give you the one that I have acquired most recently to the one that I've had the longest but these are the ones that I use the most. Owning a good flashlight is important not just for self-defense but for your day-to-day -day life. That's why I absolutely love power tack flashlights. If you're looking for a light for self-defense, a tactical light for your gun, or just a regular flashlight for finding stuff in the dark or walking the dogs, check out power tack. There's a link in the description below for a code that will save you a little bit of money during checkout as well. I personally own several of their lights. It's a great company run by great people. Just so you guys know, as you're watching me wear these holsters, I'm five foot two and 110 pounds, just for reference in case you're interested in sizing. Some of these things, like you have to try them on to know how they're gonna fit you, but that's just so you have a reference. Um, and I'll put the size for each one that I wear on the screen so you can see what size I am in each holster. So one of the newest ones that I've been using a lot is this bag by Roma Leathers Inc. So if you go to Roma Leathers Inc. on their website, you'll see tons of bags. But if you've seen my videos on off-body carry, you know that I have a few criteria that I look for when it comes to off-body carry. And if you haven't seen it yet, watch this video if you're thinking about off-body carry because I go through a lot of things that are important to think about with off-body carry. But for this bag, I was looking for a bag that I could use, kind of dress it up a little bit. It doesn't just look like a bag that I carry during the daytime. I can take it to date night, um, but I can also dress it down. So I wanted like a black leather bag and this one is perfect for that. So in this bag, both the Ruger LCP Max, which is my smallest carry gun, and the Shield Plus 9mm, they both fit in it. Um, and I have a Velcro holster in the back pocket that holds my gun in a separate compartment. I love the holster bags that open at the top so I can draw my gun straight up out of the bag rather than out of the side. And I can also wear this bag crossbody, and those are some of the things that I look for in a bag. It's really functional, it has a lot of room for all my other stuff, my wallet, my keys, my gum, my lip gloss, you name it. So I like that I can use this just as my purse and also have my gun on me in case I can't carry in the outfit that I'm wearing that day on my body. So as far as off-body carry goes, I've been reaching for this bag a lot if I want something that I can dress up a little bit, which is gonna go into number two here, which is my Yukoala bag. And this one I love, but I can't really dress it up just because it looks a little bit more casual. I've had it for about a year, same as the Romer Leathers one, by the way. I've had these both for about a year, and I use this a lot. I did a whole video just about this bag showing you all that it does because you can carry it in three different ways. You can use it as a backpack, you can wear it on your hip, and you can also wear it crossbody. I've been wearing it mostly crossbody with the strap around my leg that allows for a better draw. So that's been my favorite way to use this bag. I absolutely love it. I think it's so cute and it's so functional um, and it's really comfortable to carry. I usually carry my shield in this bag because the pocket is big enough to carry my shield and the gun is in a whole separate compartment from everything else in my bag. I love that I can just use that magnetic closure and get into it really fast if I need to draw my gun out of the back. And it's just a really nice option if you can't carry in whatever outfit you're wearing that day or you just feel like carrying in a bag that day, which is your choice. All right, these next ones, 
I have very strong feelings about these leggings. I love my Alexo leggings. These things are amazing. I wear them constantly and now it's fall again so I'm wearing them even more. Obviously in the summertime I couldn't use these as much because it was hot but these things are my jam. I love them especially when you add in this trigger guard that's made by DeSantis. It's also sold on Alexo's website so if you end up getting a pair of these leggings please make sure you pick up one of these trigger guards because they work awesome. They give you more peace of mind because they protect your trigger rather than just the fabric that's in that holster pocket and because of that sticky outside layer it doesn't come out when you draw your gun um i love the alexo leggings that have pockets on the side i can put my cell phone my pepper spray my knife all my stuff right in my leggings which is amazing then you don't even have to carry a purse if you don't want to and they're just really versatile with a lot of different outfits they have a lot of different styles and colors and um, some that don't have pockets if you want something that you can dress up a little bit more But these things are great for when you're going out for a run or just Going about your day and you want to have your gun right on you without having to really worry about an extra holster They make it so easy you can just throw on like a flannel over the top or a sweater or something and And then you just have your gun on your body and it's pretty comfortable as far as carrying a gun goes And I've had these for about two years Love them, use them all the time, and I'm definitely going to be using them a lot more now that it's getting colder out. Okay, number four. This one's a little bit time sensitive, depending on when you're watching this video. Unfortunately, CanCan -Can Concealment is closing their operations, so you won't be able to get these forever. My discount code also no longer works for them. They're just trying to get rid of all their inventory. So if you're watching this video and they're still selling their holsters, go get one immediately because I love their thigh holster which I'm showing you here. I wear this all the time in the summer. I actually ordered another one. I have three of them now, but I ordered another one because if they're closing their doors, I want to have one on backup in case I need one in the future. The first one I ever got six years ago is still working great, so I'm expecting it to last a really long time. I wash it all the time in the wash, and it has this sticky silicone backing that allows it to stick onto your leg. So number one way for me to carry in a dress or a skirt is a thigh holster. Go buy one immediately before they don't sell them anymore. And also, they make my favorite belly band. If you're looking for a belly band for when you go out to run and you want to just slip it over your leggings or something, this is the way to go for me, again, because of that silicone strip on the inside, on the top and bottom. It really allows it to stick to your pants or to your skin, whether you wear it inside or outside your pants. And I absolutely just love this belly band. It's my favorite one that I've ever found. It works great. And I can also stick that DeSantis FlexTech trigger guard into the pocket of my CanCan -Can belly band for a little extra trigger protection. So, so go pick one up if you've been wanting to try one because they're not gonna be available forever, unfortunately. It's really easy to conceal a gun with this because of how tight it holds it to your body and then you can just throw a layer on top and you're good to go. All right, number five. This was the second holster I ever bought. The first holster I bought was one of those uncomfortable Kydex ones that's like molded all the way around to the shape of your gun. You just stick it in your waistband. That wasn't gonna work for me. So after I tried that and said, mm, I don't think I'm gonna use this that much, I found the Dean Adams corset holster. A little bit more fitting for my lifestyle and the way I dress. I was so glad to find these. I think they're so cool. I do have a discount code if you want to purchase one. I'll link everything down below in case you wanna check these things out. But Dean Adams makes these corset holsters and they're awesome. This one that I'm showing you here, I've had for six years. Um, like I said, second holster I ever bought. And the quality is amazing, so no matter how many times I wash it, it still works great. It has two layers of clasps, depending on how bloated I feel that day. I can loosen it up a little bit if it's like Thanksgiving or something. But it's really comfortable. They make the ones that have mesh that goes around the back now in case you live in like a hot environment or you're gonna wear it in the summer. It's a little more cooling. They also make petite sizes. I just have the regular size and I'm a size medium in my corset holster. So you can wear this with skirts, with sweatpants, with jeans. You don't have to worry about wearing a belt because I don't like wearing belts at all, which is why I like having all these different solutions to that problem. So I hope this was helpful for you. If you've been thinking about carrying a gun but you, you can't cross that bridge quite yet where it's a little intimidating, um, make sure you check out my free training that I have linked below that helps you get over your fear of carrying a gun. It's 45 minutes totally free. When you sign up, you can decide what time to watch it. 
and um, hopefully that'll be helpful for you if you're still a little bit nervous about the idea of carrying a gun. I'm also going to be doing a Q&A with Mac. I know you guys probably miss him. He hasn't been on here a ton lately, but I'd love to do a video with him answering your questions. So if you have a question for either me or Mac or both of us, please leave it in the comments below and we'll get to that in an upcoming video. But other than that, I hope this was helpful for you guys to see the things that I reach for the most in my big collection of holsters. And I'll see you in the next video. Stay safe. Bye.